Hey friends, so today I'm going to tell you a little bit about some of the ideas that I have for the course that I haven't mentioned in the first video. The first thing that I did mention in one of the other videos is that only the people that pass the course, that actually pass the course, will get the certificate. And by pass, I mean they need to have the highest possible score. And I want it that way because I'm going to be giving the feedback personally. So I think that people will be much better catered for than like a peer grading exercise. So I just want people to really have value after the course. And the certificate doesn't really matter in terms of like a JPEG that you can, I don't know, print out and hang on a wall, but it should be worth it in a way that you feel that you accomplished something in the best possible way and that should give you both the motivation to continue working on your portfolio and on your projects but it also should help you fight the imposter syndrome and this is big but this is just one thing let me tell you about two other things that we plan to do with this course the first one is gonna be an faq or a q a session so about a month or two after the release i will gather the questions and i will answer the most pressing ones or the most repeated ones in another video and that video is going to be added to the course if anything is unclear in the first version of the course you will get the clarification you need and i believe that is something a little bit unusual but we like doing unusual things so yeah here we go and once we properly launch hype for academy we also planned one more thing and i can tell you about it now but you know it's a secret it's not going to be available right away, but it will transfer to all the people who completed the course automatically, if they want to, of course, because this is going to be completely optional. So what we want to do is to have a place at hype for academy website for the designers that finished the course and that I personally think are good. So we want to feature these people. And by feature, I don't really just mean like a portfolio shot on the website. What I mean is that you can mention that you're open to work or you can do freelance or you're just looking for a job and we will add that to the website and we will use all of our powers to popularize that website with employers. So those employers looking for designers will just look at my seal of approval and if I believe somebody is good, they'll be more likely to hire you. So this is gonna be ironed out with some partnerships as well later in the year, but I can't really talk about it right now. So I probably said too much already. And yes, the course is progressing very nicely. There's still some pre-orders left, not many, but if you hurry up, you probably will be able to get it at that 70% off. We also did a trial run with a couple of friends and so far everybody loves it. And I'm even loving it, even though it's pretty difficult to make and it takes me a long time, like eight hours every day, every single day, including the weekends to work on it. But while working on it, I'm realizing that like, wow, if I had something like this when I started. And that is mostly because it's not just some tutorials pulled out of the hat. It's kind of like a lot of my experiences with teaching people both at the university and online and helping junior designers get their jobs and everything like that. And also a lot of feedback to the book and to our other materials to my YouTube channel helped shape this course into something that I think will actually make a difference. So yeah, I'm super excited for it. You can still get it at the link below and I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Cheers. Uh -huh.